30, actually 32 years ago, when I was a boy of... Uh, it's incredible, and the time just goes. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But it was 32 years ago when, as young people, we had a small youth group. This church, one of the, the, one of the uh, in the early days of this assembly, we had a small youth group and we formed a quartet called the Maranatha Messengers. And we sang for the Lord in the church. We never had any beautiful equipment like this, high-powered stuff, technical qualities like this. We had nothing like that. We just had an old-fashioned organ and a Beale piano. That's all we had. <laughs> Pardon me for playing on this. But, <laughs> but we ne even then, we, uh, you know, we used to sing for Jesus and Dear me, when I think back, you know, I feel old and dottery. <laughs> well, to honor my father, who is turning 90 this week, and who's preaching tonight, I have, we have called the quartet back together that used to sing. We used to be the, the item of the church. We used to be the group. You know, there was nothing better than, well, you know, humbly speaking, us. In fact, we used to go on the river Torrens, get into a rowboat and start to sing a quartet, four-part harmony. And the people used to gather around us and we thought we were Billy Graham the <laughs> second. As they'd come and listen to us singing the gospel songs. Some of those songs are well loved by many of you. Some of you have never heard them before. We want to sing a couple of them and I'd like to ask Norm and Carl and Ian Scannell to come up here to uh, join with me as we sing some of these old songs. And I trust they'll speak to you. I remember when we sang one of them, when the anointing came down upon the meeting, the Holy Ghost was so powerful there that they had to build levee banks around the church because of the tears that were flowing in the service that night. I don't know whether it'll have the same effect upon you tonight, but take out your handkerchiefs, please, and be ready. On my right is Norm Milburn, who comes from Armadale. Norm was my Sunday school teacher. Could I tell you a lot about that? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't. Pastor Evans is preaching tonight. But praise the Lord and greetings to the friends in paradise. You know, we all want to see what it's going to be like in the future. And this has been a glimpse for me today of a foretaste of people praising God, loving and rejoicing Jesus Christ. I'm not going to take up much time, Freddie. But I would like to say, it's been wonderful to be here. And praise God, we're coming back. I don't know why we went away. And of course, can we have this mic? Of course, here you know Carl, Carl Mason. He's one of the, uh, one of the original members of the church here, still around. And on my left is Pastor Ian Scannell, who is the pastor of the Camden Assembly of God in Sydney, or outside of Sydney. And he and I were mates. We used to go to the football together behind our mothers and fathers' backs. <laughs> and in those days, you weren't allowed to go to the football. Mother, you didn't know that Ian and I used to do that, did you? <laughs> when Port Adelaide were winning all the premierships in the 1950s. <laughs> he barracked for the bays, don't worry. Anyhow, we're going to sing to you one of the old songs of the church. And th in fact, this song that we're going to sing was, I believe, uh, one of the best-selling songs of all time. The only one that's overtaken it is uh, Bing Crosby's song, White Christmas. See if you recognize this hymn, an old hymn of the church. Mm -hmm. 